Hey guys, today is going to be the beginning of my rewrite series for Miraculous, sort of. But mainly, in this episode, it's not going to be on rewriting, you know, the show, but the power system and how the powers work here. So, yeah, if you don't know, most of the powers in Miraculous are kind of copied, samey, and weak or overpowered. We have the power of time travel, the power to be like Ladybug, but you get to pick your object, but it can't be magic. The power to go back in time, the power to have a mega punch, but just kind of random powers. So for me, I feel like most of them we need to go back and rework and another thing is that you know we have 19 powers and these are supposed to be the most powerful and for some of them they are and then some of the zodiac chinese zodiac powers seem just way more powerful than the main seven or main two and i mean like that'd be okay if it wasn't written that the cat and the ladybug miraculous have the most powerful miraculous but in canon they don't since we have the rabbit miraculous and the butterfly miraculous that could literally literally make copies of every other miraculous hero and more to overpower so yeah but anyways what we're going to get into really is that i want there to be an evolution system in the powers so we're gonna reestablish some powers but also what evolved forms of their powers will look like and this time when ladybug gets a new form it'll be for a new power basically so yeah let's um get started so we have ladybug and for me i think I want to kind of revamp her power because Lucky Charm, it's a nice power for if it, the power was luck based, but it's about creation, not luckiness. So for me, I'd want to give Genesis basically, which is um, Capra Kid or Nathaniel's goat power to her to where she can create an object, but it can't be magic. And I know what you're saying, but then, oh, she'd be weak and she wouldn't be able to, you know, make magical charms and stuff. But that is where the power up would come in. And then she'd be able to not only use her power for magic, but um, I think for all of them, the time limit would be erased and really they can use their power freely but it relies on your energy and how much you can you know mentally and physically with with stand and doing your power takes a lot of energy so that's what I would base it off of as well as I feel like that power Meredith has to normally figure out how to use whatever she's given should be like a power that she earns when she you know powers up and unlike in the actual show i'd want it to be a little earlier so you know we get new costumes and a deeper concept that can be explored all right and for cat noir we're sort of doing the same thing so for him i want to keep his power and when he powers up i want to give him the power to bend things and kind of crush him. Now, if people don't like this power, I'm fine with that. And we can go with those blasts that he made in Cat Blanc for his power up, which is also fine with me. But I would almost rather this, but I'm fine with the other option. I was kind of running out of ideas. I just knew I wanted him to be able to do his power unlimitedly. All right, and now the Butterfly Miraculous. And actually, I am going to do some changes to this one. So mainly for me, I feel like the power is a little too samey with the peacock. So I kind of want to give him the eagle's power from the New York special. 
to basically where he can take someone's personality and you know drop it to make the person stronger but instead when he does this they change form and become a super villain and I think for me it would work better if instead of it being a strong negative emotion more like a strong conviction I like the power up to be that you know now at first he could only get one person but with his power up he can get multiple people and that he can kind of control what he what power he was you know giving his giving people because I think giving him not letting him have control would be kind of an excuse for the reason why you know Gabriel kind of sucks at picking powers for people because instead it's not him it's kind of like what's already chosen for them so yeah all right and for the fox I think the fox has a pretty good power overall pretty strong if you know how to use it and I think really I was struggling with this one so the only power I could think of that would work to pop, give him the power up is that or to kind of see through any trap or hologram or projection or other illusion from something else would also be a good power for the power up all right and on to the b and for me i think the power is good and basically for the power up i kind of want to give basically queen wasp power to control who you venom and you know basically like everyone is to bow down to the queen or queen b so that's how i see it i'm going through these quickly so turtle so for me what always bothered me about the turtle is that the shields are really easily broken so for me the power up would have to be that you know the shields are now kind of unbreakable and the only thing that can break it is a cat cataclysm because i feel like nothing should be able to fix the cataclysm except ladybug's power and kind of the same way with the ladybug so yeah and i'd also like the idea that the little hexagons on the shield would be able to split apart and he'd be able to well the holder of the turtle miraculous would be able to have multiple shields or just use the plates as different shields and manipulate those but yeah all right and i think for me the peacock miraculous can stay the same and the only difference in the power up is to make multiple center monsters at the same time so yeah all right and the rooster now i had no idea why they gave him this power for me what i liked about the rooster is kind of being able to write out your ability or write out your story so i wanted to take that to the next level and i kind of got inspired by super y so i gave him basically two powers from there so basically um so you know how uh wonder red would see things how they are and could change it to something that rhymes that would be rooster bolt's power or um how alpha pig could um make things by spelling them stuff like that and then his power up would be Wyatt's power and the power to read where he can change the story. I think something would work that would work would really work well for um, Mark since he is a writer. And it would make sense since the weapon is a quill. So yeah. Alright, and the rabbit I gave speed power because the tortoise and the hare. I felt like that worked pretty well and made a lot of sense. Plus, time travel is a little too busted for me. And the power up would be like Sonic in the Sonic movie, where if you 
if the person with the rabbit miraculous runs fast enough they freeze time or really slows it down so they can do whatever and I think that'd be a good idea and moving on the dragon miraculous I was kind of going back and forth on whether to keep the power and I decided not I don't want to give the dragon miraculous multiple powers because the elements is kind of like a you know a not that universal thing so I have two concepts one is where you know the dragon miraculous can change into different forms of matter aka a liquid a solid uh air and then the power up can turn into lightning so that can sort of be like how the power is now or the power to um basically get uraraka's power from my hero academia to whatever the holder touches it can float and you know the power up could be telekinesis but you guys can vote on that in the comments all right and the monkey's power i'm keeping the same and the only difference is for me i think what was interesting is when we first got a view of monkey king with the monkey miraculous and its power up or kind of caused confusion so i want to make that the power up that not only does it you know weaken the power but it confuses its foe all right in the ox so i'm gonna basically strip down the mouse's power but you know now so now the ox gets is getting a half of it to where it can change sides and i think for me a big way to keep it a little more balanced is that at least it, when you first have the miraculous before it powers up you can only, you can change size but it's based on how you feel how you know big you feel so if you feel strong you feel tall you'll become tall or you'll become small and you're kind of stuck that size or your normal size for five minutes but i think what would be cool is you get control of your size and your height when you power up so that would be that power sort of like ant man all right and now on to purple tigress so for me i mean i kind of like her power but i don't so the tiger miraculous is now going to be more based on sound and music i think we can keep cloud as in a as the ability but more of that it's a roar or singing so that way it could be vocal sort of like canary and then also get hear hearing powers when you know power she powers up to where she can sense and hear things it may be like some sound wave attack things when she sings or something like that just small things all right for the goat i figured i'd give the goat the ox's power sort of so the power to be able to resist how special moves or powers but for me the big difference is when we first saw Minotaurox use this power he was able to attack or burst out what they gave him the attacks they gave him and I don't know why or how but I'd like to keep that to where the goat has the power to absorb attacks but at the end of his five minutes if he doesn't already use it the attacks will burst back even stronger and so when he, when the goat miraculous gets powered up now it can burst out whenever you want and not all at once so basically it eats the power and then it you know explodes it back out of you out but stronger so i think that would be its power and for the pegasus i think i'd keep it the same and the <clears throat> and the evolved power would be a future vision sort of like on raven's home when you when she gets a glimpse of the future sort of like that but it takes real focus to unlock it so that would be what i want for that 
and for the pig miraculous i'd keep it the same only because i see it more of a you know i'm gonna try and convince the villain to do right so but i also want it to be more on the dream side so gift would be the first thing where it gives a glimpse like normal but the way dark owl uses gift is more dr like a dream sequence which is way more different than how it was when we first saw it so i think being able to stun your opponent in a dream and you'd have to really fight to get out would be a good evolved power of the pig and for the mouse very simple very easy multiplication and another thing i'd want is that you know for the mouse the evolved power is that you get to have as many as you want but regular multi you can only multiply yourself by 12. i think doing that it would make a little more sense why marinette did 12 and i think someone did 12 when she multiplied so that way it's a little more logic behind it so yeah and I'm keeping Viperion or the snake power the same and the only difference is um, now you can go back whenever you want in time when you evolve when the power evolves and you can keep the miraculous on a second chance for as long as you want but you have to mentally you know envision what time period you want to go back to so yeah and the dog miraculous i'm changing that power too so i don't know if anyone knows this but miss hound's original original name or that i heard of was track moselle and i think that works a little bit better than miss hound personally so i think her having the power to track things like the dog would be a good power and then the evolved power could be to see in the past like um so this is a weird thing to call back to but if anyone watched Winx Club in season 4 their Believix power came with Tracix to where they could see into the past so I think being able to track and then evolving to be able to see in the past would be good and yeah so those are the powers that I have kind of changed I know I kind of did this fast but if you want something in depth you can watch the eventual coming out of my rewrites of Miraculous. The way I'm going to structure it is basically we're going to just go through it season by season, special by special, do it in a chronological order, and for now up until season five, I think, and that will be starting in August. So thanks for watching. I've enjoyed this and get ready to hear back from me and it's going to be a completely different format when we do it next time so get ready for it all right so long <laughs>